Welcome, all friends, audio amigos, amigas, y otros de todo el mundo. We are the Counter-Strike 2 Audio Academy, and I am your host, Bowman Bowmancer Edwards, in camaraderie with Eagle One to shape the very best of the Source 2 community. We can chat in the Eagle One Discord or share your comments here, but I want everyone to be engaged in making the best custom maps we can get and making with the best audio you can do. The Source 2 engine is superb, and I've had the joy of exploring in Half-Life Alex, Source 2 Filmmaker, Dota 2, Sandbox, and now Counter-Strike 2. Right off the bat, every Source 2 game has a unique sound design toolkit. Today, we establish the audio essentials in 4 minutes, which is using the sound entities, using Valve assets, and playtesting. And I'm also going to make the assumption that we are familiar with how to use Hammer after watching Chimona Hihi's Mapping Academy series. I highly recommend that series, and I also recommend that we get started on this one. Let's go! We begin our sound design journey by using Valve assets, which already exist in our download of Counter-Strike. These assets will be immediate solutions to your needs for things like water, doors, lights, and soundscapes. Inside Hammer, using the Entity tool with Shift-E, click, and in the Object Properties, change the class to Point Underscore Sound Event. Just below, we'll see this button, a magnifying glass, to bring up the Sound Event Picker. In the search bar, you can type in something you want to hear. I want to hear some lights. As you click around, you should hear some sounds. Not all of them work, though. And when you find the sound you like, click Select, and you'll see a note that warning, this sound is not in your game's mod. That's quite alright, we're going to click OK, and now look for the checkbox Start on Spawn, which is probably what we need for our environment sound. And that is all it takes for a point sound event. Now for soundscapes, we use the class ENV underscore soundscape. And in the properties, you will find the checkbox Override Soundscape with Sound Event, and you're going to check this for every soundscape entity. Next to the Sound Event field, we're going to click on the Sound Event Picker, and type in ambient underscore example dot indoors or dot outdoors. These are the two soundscapes we're going to use for today. Notice how I've placed these two entities on the wall faces of either side of the door. And I want you to match that as best you can in your own scenario. And adjust the radius to fit your door. Well, take a good look at yourself. You are now fully equipped to use the two sound entities in Counter-Strike 2 point sound event and the ENV soundscape. And with that knowledge, we are now ready to play test. And to do this most effectively, we're gonna use two entities, the logic underscore auto and the point underscore server command. Now select the logic auto and go to the outputs tab and add a new output on map spawn and target the point server command and give it a name like console with the input command and copy paste this text into the parameter override. This will remove all bots, it'll remove the freeze time, it'll remove the game type, and it'll give you 60 minutes to playtest. Let's not waste another minute, let's press F9 to compile and check the box, entities only, and press compile and let's playtest. All right, we got a nice buzz coming off of this light, and we got the soundscapes transitioning. All right, awesome. We have done what we set out to do, that is the audio essentials in 4 minutes for Counter-Strike 2. My next video will be the Creative Sound Design Toolkit. Thank you for watching and see you soon.